Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a locking system using a keypad and Arduino. If you type the correct code within the time limit of 5 seconds, the door will open or in our case a green LED will glow. After the 5 seconds the door will lock back. This is indicated by the red LED. With each attempt you have 5 seconds to enter the correct code and if the code is not correct, nothing will happen. I am also going to show you how to connect a relay and a solenoid. This project is brought to you by PCBWay. What I really like about them is that you can get 10 professional made boards for around $5, which is really amazing for professionally made boards. On their website just click on the get instant quote and you will see how much the PCB will cost. They also offer other services like PCB assembly, 3D printing, CNC machining. The link will be in the description, so go and check them out. For this project you will need a keypad module, two LEDs, one red and one green, two 1 kilo ohm resistors, some jumper wires, optional a solenoid or a relay, breadboard, Arduino board and Wizuino program. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to Vizuino website and download and install Vizuino program. Start Vizuino and select the board. In our case it is Arduino Uno. Add keypad component. Double click on the keypad 1 and in the keys window drag character key group to the left side and on the left select keys and click on the 3 dots button. Now in the keys window select char key and click on the right mouse button and select add multiple, add 16 and click OK. And for each char key we are going to set the character. The characters will be in the same order as you can see on the picture. So for the first one we are going to add 1, then 4 and 7. Now close all the windows. As you can see we have now 4 pins for the rows and 4 pins for the columns. Now click on the rows blue spot and connect all the pins to the digital pin out from 6 to 9. and do the same for the columns and connect it to the pins from 2 to 5. Now our keypad should be set and we can start adding other components. Add char multi-source component. Add chart to text component. And in the properties window set update on each chart to true.
add compare text value component. And in the properties window, set your code under the value. In our case, it will be 34571. Add two delay components. And under the properties window, set interval to 5 million. This means 5 seconds. Now add toggle flip-flop component. Connect keypad 1, pin out to char multi-source 1, pin in, connect char multi-source 1, pin 0, to char to text 1, pin in, and connect char multi-source 1, pin 1, to delay 1, pin start, and connect delay 1, pin out, to chart to text 1, pin clear, connect chart to text 1, pin out to compare value 1, pin in, and connect it to delay 2, pin start. Connect compare value 1, pin out to flip flop 1, pin set and connect delay 2, pin out to flip-flop 1, pin reset. Connect flip-flop 1, pin out to Arduino board, digital pin 11. And connect pin inverted to digital pin 12. Now let me explain what is happening here. From the keypad we are going to get the pressed keys and each key is going to go to the char multi-source 1 and from here it is going to go to the char to text 1 where it will be combined to the code. Now at the same time with each pressed key a delay 1 will be triggered so you will have 5 seconds to enter the key or everything will be erased by triggering the clear pin on the chart to text 1. From chart to text 1, the code will go to the compare value 1, where it will be compared if it is the right code. If the code is correct, the compare value 1 will trigger the set pin on the flip-flop 1, which will trigger the LED, in our case it will be green LED. At the same time also a delay 2 will be triggered which will lock everything back after the 5 seconds. In our case the red LED will be turned on. At the bottom click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right ported board and click compile build and upload button.